Hey there guys, my name is Brandon and welcome to the video. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm probably going to make a video about it. Let's recap the first ever NBA All-Star Draft, which was absolutely awesome. I had to make a video about it. If you guys know me, I am a huge fan of NBA All-Star Weekend, so I had to make a video about this. Let me just start off by saying that LeBron and Giannis are absolutely great together. They are hilarious. There were so many jokes during this all-star draft. They joked about tampering. They joked about Anthony Davis. They joked about pronouncing Giannis's last name, which by the way, I think I say it pretty well. Giannis Antetokounmpo. LeBron also joked about picking Dirk Nowinski over Dwayne Wade, which was hilarious. There was a first ever trade in this all-star draft, which makes sense, I guess. But Charles Barkley, I'll give props to him. He said it perfectly. There are absolutely no losers in this NBA All-Star game. Even if you were picked last, there is no losers in this. It's just a fun time. It's a fun event. And I'm so glad that they finally aired this live on TV. So with the first overall pick on Team LeBron, it is Kevin Durant. And that is correct. LeBron also did pick Kyrie second, which makes a lot of sense. You have two of the best players in the world on the same team. And then LeBron's former teammate, Kyrie Irving. And then Giannis's first pick was Stephen Curry because Stephen Curry last year during the NBA All-Star Draft picked Giannis first. And also Kemba Walker is in the backcourt with Stephen Curry. And then with the first pick of the reserves, which Giannis Antetokounmpo did have, he picked his teammate Chris Middleton, which makes complete sense. It was a great pick. Now, one thing that kind of surprised me was Giannis Antetokounmpo picked Paul George over James Harden. That one was kind of a surprise for me. I mean, James Harden is arguably the MVP, and he picked him over James Harden. LeBron had no choice. Even Ernie Johnson said, James Harden's still on the board. But I do like one pick that Giannis made. It was his second pick in the reserves. It was Nikola Jokic. The dude is a stud. He is incredible. And then kind of another surprise for me was that Russell Westbrook fell all the way to the fourth pick in the reserves, and he is on Team LeBron, or so we thought. For the first time ever in NBA All-Star history, there was a trade as LeBron James trades Russell Westbrook to Team Giannis for Ben Simmons. So yeah, that was a little bit strange. There were a couple of surprises. Maybe next year they will change the date due to the NBA trade deadline. I don't know if they did that because they wanted ratings, but maybe next year this can kind of be a solo event outside of the NBA trade deadline. So the rosters are set, you guys. Whose team are you on? Team LeBron or Team Giannis? Both teams are absolutely stacked. Team Giannis definitely has a lot of size. LeBron has a lot of scoring. Please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. My name is Brandon. Please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm probably going to make a video about it. I also make a bunch of NBA All-Star News videos on this channel, so make sure to subscribe. I can't wait for NBA All-Star Weekend. Team LeBron or Team Giannis, which team are you on?